Well, it's certainly cooler by comparison to yesterday when we ended up easily in the upper or the mid and upper 60s. Uh, now we are seeing those temperatures get scaled back. So some leveling off on the thermometer going on here. I wanted to show you the shot outside uh, a different location from our station headquarters. So we're facing east here. That's Broad and Spring Garden. Poor guy just got pulled over by the cops. We watched that happen. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Well, I really wanted to show you that the light of day, <laughs> not to call out the poor guy that got pulled over, but you can see that there is at least uh, some clear sky off in the distance and we will start off with some sun. However, the clouds are going to start to thicken and they already are in fact doing so across part of our area here in advance of this. Obviously a mess of a system coming our way. We are only looking at rain out of it. However, you don't have to worry about any ice. You don't have to worry about any snow because even though today is cooler, we're actually on another warming trend here over the course of the next couple of days. So how much time do you have before the rain gets here? I think you got until about 3 p.m. or so. So most of the day looks rain free and won't require the need of the umbrella. But if you're going to be out all day today or end it to this evening, that's when you want to have some kind of rain gear ready to go. So here's the pattern. Let's just watch how the areas of low pressure, the fronts attach them, crawl across on through here today, tonight more specifically, and then into tomorrow and Friday is really the timing here. So it'll be wet for your drive home today toward evening, but there will even still be leftover showers very hit and miss throughout the day Thursday. It's mainly an overcast day and then fresh showers still lingering as the cold front crosses into Friday morning before the temperatures start to get scaled back. So we're talking about a pretty dramatic drop here in the next couple of days. Friday at seven in the morning, we should be at about our daytime high 60 degrees. So a very warm Friday, even despite a bit of wet weather, but it's that cold front. So behind that cold front, the temperatures take a very solid dip and Saturday morning, you're talking about early morning lows into the 20s. So much much colder by comparison here, but even despite the ebb and flow on the thermometer, there are some nice points to, to show you. So obviously the warmth that comes along with, yeah, even the rain and then looking ahead to the weekend, the sun returns, but with the trade off this time of some much colder air. So Saturday's the coldest as it stands right now. Chandler just 35 behind that day.